Welcome to the Young Money Club, your go-to place to learn, trade, and profit. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Ronnie G, and I'm here to free your mind financially. Let's get into it. As you know, this is a small cap focused channel. We focus on small cap plays that can increase in a week or a month. We capitalize on that momentum. But sometimes we need to look at the overall market to determine how to move and how to invest our money in the future. As you know, we study the Russell 2000. And I've been keeping everybody updated on the Russell 2000 and where I see it going. Now, for the past, I want to say, couple months, uh, since the beginning of the year, actually, uh, there's been uh, some focus around inflation. There's been focus around our CPI data, uh, which is consumer um, price index, the, the cost of living, the cost of supplies and goods and services. We look at those things as consumers to level out the market to determine where our economy is. I also look at the Russell 2000 index to give us a clear view of where we're going and where we're at. Right now, we are in the supply zone. What is a supply zone? A supply zone for all my new traders and investors out there, or my economist students, <laughs> Supply zone is where there is heavy sell off. There is not a lot of demand, but there's an oversupply. We know what happens when there's an oversupply price drops, as you see here and here. But sometimes in the supply zone, there's a breakthrough. We call it a revelation. <laughs> Can you see it now? This is where demand beats up supply where there's no longer heavy sellers at this price anymore. The economy has shifted. Uh, the trend is up and there is a lot of momentum. And this is kind of what's happening right now. We have what we call a breakout from a downtrend from last year, summertime, springtime, I mean, all the way to Today, summertime of 2023, so a whole year and a few months later, we are breaking out this trend of what we call a recession or what we call a bad economy or a bear market. Now, the other overall markets, we look at the SPA, the Qs, which is the tech sector, the SPAs, the 500 fortune companies the best of the best in the U.S. that keep our economy afloat, they're making new highs. But for some reason, the small cap market has been underperforming. And until now, we have officially broken out that trend. What does this mean? Ladies and gentlemen, what does that mean? That means that there's opportunity for you to maximize your portfolio, to really take off. 10x, 100x your portfolio because we know that in a small cap market, we can take advantages of the quick momentum moves without the larger economy, larger stocks getting in our way. Now, we've been dealing with the bad side of that because most small cap companies are non-cyclical, meaning they don't move with the rest of the economy or the market. They do their own thing, which is apparent now. It's our time to shine. It's our time to really maximize the opportunity and capitalize on growing your portfolio. Whether you're a small account or you're a large account. You got 50000 or more in your account and you can just play around with it. But if you have a small account, you should be excited. Extremely excited. Now, let's dig deeper into what all this really means behind the scenes. Now... I mentioned, um, you know, we look at the CPI, the Consumer Price Index. 
And lately, this has still been declining up. From January, there was a, a nice surge. Uh, and we've been kind of uptrending. Now, the surges have not went as much as, you know, from December to January, where you know, the Fed, they started raising interest rates like crazy, which caused, you know, most people to not lend money, borrow money. Interest rates are higher. It, it puts a cap on the, the flow of money in the economy. Uh, things are more expensive. Rent is going crazy, right? Especially if you're in a major city. Uh, but what does this mean now? Because the feds, they essentially didn't raise interest rates last time. Uh, interest rates are starting to flatline a little bit. We see back in 2018-19, you know, interest rates were raised 2.5 uh, and it flatlined for months going into uh, kind of the new year of 2019. Then they dropped. Everybody's waiting on this, this flat line and then a drop. Uh, because we need our economy to stabilize. We need those prices to stabilize and stop going up. Uh, gas, rent, a, a, a gallon of milk. I mean, we need those prices to stabilize because, you know, for people who love milk, uh, I like my al almond milk. That that's that's my thing, right? And it's getting a little expensive. Seven, eight bucks. Eggs, expensive. So, you know, we, we need those prices to stabilize. But we need it to stabilize for the market. Because when it stabilizes, we can enter into this bull market that I predicted in a prelim back uh, in the beginning of this year. Uh, as you guys know on my Twitter page, it's pinned on my page. I, I predicted that we're in a prelim bull market and we're going to have another seven year run. Um, and, and it happens. But we're starting to get back to that point. Uh, we have what we call a meeting next or we have the Fed making a decision on interest rates. They're saying that they're going to up it by 0 0.25, 25 base points. Uh, and we also have a conference right at after that decision. Uh, so this can determine whether the market is going to do good or not. Um, but I want you guys to focus on if it doesn't, we don't raise interest rates too high. I don't think that's going to be an, a, a negative uh, for this bull market or the small cap market entering into this new supply zone. And we have demand. Um and we got to break out this demand zone right here. I mean, the supply zone so that we can start getting back to making new highs. Uh, I want you guys to focus on the opportunity at hand. So up until next week, there's a few swing opportunities. I'm going to show you how I look at it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the trading view stock heat map. I'm going to look at the Russell 2000. Now you can change it to whatever you want, but I look at the Russell 2000. Because that's where I can uh, take take advantage of the short term momentum. Uh, and I look at which sector is really doing the best. Now, when you look at the performance by week, remember, we're, we're looking at daily, weekly, hourly charts. We're looking to hold for a week or a month at a time. Finance is doing really well. Technology is doing really well on this heat map, uh, you know. You start going back. I mean, you see health technology is doing well as well. But, you know, what company out of this is really going to make a big move? And I go to Finviz. And what I one thing that I do is I go to groups. I go to bar chart. And I'm looking at the monthly relative performance and the weekly relative performance to let me know which sector is making some noise. Now, the one month technology was number four. And this week. It's number one. It's on the rise, plus three point thirty five, uh, three points and thirty five cent. Uh, we have that rise, or not thirty five cent, but uh, three basis points, and we can take advantage of that. 
So I click on here and say, all right, let's look at the technology sector. Uh, let's focus on small cap right here. Let's descend, not by ticker, but let's go to change the market change. I want to look at that and I want to make it descending so we can see what the top performing stocks are doing. They show all the charts right here. One other thing that I do is I want to go off the signal of unusual volume. <laughs> Y'all know what that means. Unusual volume. It's a party. Can you see it now? Uh, we're about to have a, a big Can party. You see the a big party. For what it truly is. We are going to look at what's out there. What can we take advantage of these movements? This unusual volume. Sometimes the unusual volume isn't good, like this one. TTEC is not good. It's going down. Um, there's obviously been a short opportunity. Um, you know, you got ITRN. You know, this company is probably worth looking at. I mean, it's spiking really big. Uh, and then you have PGY uh, spiking really big as well on the daily chart. All in all, these companies, you can take a look at. You can see that it's breaking out of the pattern. It's making new highs. It's probably worth a look. And you can start adding them to your watch list. Uh, now, some of the other plays that I'm looking at uh, that I didn't mention is um, the I made a video about RXT. And I'm almost sold on my position there. As you can see, the end of this is my stop. This is my price target to exit. Now I'm going to exit before the resistance hits. It almost hit it today. Uh, and I think I'm up like 500 bucks. And then I have this position. Uh, and I'm going to look at it from a weekly standpoint. So you guys can see how I look at it from a swing trading perspective. Uh, I'm, look at, I'm going to look at the daily um, because that's the overall trend. And then I'm going to look at the hourly. This is how I do my entries. And we can see that, you know, this stock I got in um, at 96 cents. But it was declining for a while. And then it stopped. It started to consolidate. Which let me know that there is possibility for this stock to pop. And I was watching it for a while. Uh, if you go, if we go back in my discord, um, you can see where, uh, I was watching it. I was alerting it, uh, BR, BXR and giving people the, the run through, you know, I, I, I called it out right here on July 18th and it wasn't, I felt like it was ready to pop, uh, next day popped. I enter, I enter on the first day, the first big volume day. Uh, I don't really want to get too heavy on like trying to predict movements i'm just going to react to it so i reacted to the big volume day um that it had right here uh as we see a lot of volume was you know there was a lot of unusual volume with this and it caused the stock price to go up there was a lot of demand and this is how I look at companies. Um, I, I'm usually trying to uh, make a trade after the the first pullback of a big spike. Usually, I don't make the first spike. I don't. I'm not perfect, you know. Uh, I, and I usually don't like to get on the first spike. You never know how it's going to go up. You don't have a you don't have a basis point to go off of. I mean, you can look in history. And I do play the gap gap downs, right, or the gap fills, uh, where it stocks gap down, and usually they'll try to get back up and fill this gap. I usually play those, but sometimes I miss out on that initial gap fill, and then it 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 pops, and I'm like, all right, I'll watch it as it goes down, and then I'll get in on the pop on the first green day where it it creates this um, baseline. Or this foundation right here, or what we call uh, a stage one, and I wait for that thing to pop out. Uh, kind of similar to what I did here, just a little different. Um, this was kind of my baseline, and then it popped out, pulled back, and I got in. So same thing here. Uh, try to find a nice support, 
And I try to find that resistance point where I can sell. Because I'm looking to sell before the resistance. Uh, technology company. <laughs> That's what I'm focused on. Those are the sectors. Um, so. I hope this video was really helpful because you have to start breaking down your, your companies and stocks. You got to start looking at it from a macro bigger view level. The whole market. And then start um start going deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole all right free your mind <laughs> free your mind go deeper and look at what is the economy doing what is the cpi doing are we raising interest rates is there anything on the economic calendar that can disrupt now small cap i like it because it's not disrupted and uh, uh it's not disrupted a lot but there are some instances where things can get disrupted, but I look at what's trending and I go with what's trending. I'm not trying to force anything and say, well, you know, I want I want energy to trend. Energy should be trending right now. No, 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 no. We don't do that. No, we don't do that at all. We go with what's trending. And if I'm looking to hold for a few days to a week or a week to a month, uh, on certain type of investments or, or trades and I'm looking at what is it hap what has been going on for the last month and then what's going on in a week what trend is there like what what stock is really popping out what's trending up um, not what's trending down and what what that what trend is over like trends happen all the time you see it in hip-hop uh, you see it in pop you see it in music you, you know you, you see it in clothing and fashion like you, you see it you see the movies, um, trends are everywhere. And you have to start looking at the market like that. When you start opening up your mind to the market opens up your mind to what's happening in the world. And you have to pay attention to it because that's how you should move your money. You should move your money with the trend, not against it. Don't make it harder for yourself. Now, if you pay attention, you'll be more aware of the trends that are changing more quicker than somebody that's not paying attention. So for all you slackers out there who are not watching the market, you really need to stay on top of it. Got to stay on top of it. Because if you don't, man, it's, it's, it's going to be hard for you, man. It's, it's going to be hard uh, for sure. But you guys, uh, make sure that you follow the channel. Uh, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, comment in, in, in the video below, like comment below what you think, uh, is going to happen in the next month or so in the next week, what trends are you spotting? And then make sure that you share this with a friend, um, that may be struggling in the market or is new to the market. They don't know Jack squat about it. Uh, and Make sure you leave your comment. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys want to join the community, make sure, uh, you know, you, you go in the bio, click that link or copy and paste it. Uh, Discord has an app. Join our private Discord. Very intimate community. Uh, we're giving you guys the plays. As you can see in the community, I am, I'm calling the plays before I actually buy them. Okay. And we are all jumping in on these plays, making money making moves, making progress, and freeing our minds financially. That's all I got for you folks. I'll see y'all guys next week.